Thank you, Laura, and I are thrilled to be here. We uh, are honored you would invite us uh, to reopen one of the country's great civic institutions, the Smithsonian Museum of American History. This building is home to many of our national treasures. It is a reminder of our country's proud heritage. And today we're witnessing the beginning of an exciting new era in its history. And I would urge all our citizens who come to Washington, D.C., come to, come to this fantastic place of learning. Ever since President James K. Polk laid the Smithsonian's cornerstone in 1847, it has been one of our nation's greatest centers of knowledge. And since it opened nearly 45 years ago, the Museum of American History has been one of the Smithsonian's most popular institutions. The items on display here are as diverse as our nation. Visitors can see George Washington's military uniform, one of Thomas Edison's early light bulbs, the desk on which Thomas Jefferson drafted the Declaration of Independence, even Muhammad Ali's boxing gloves, which he modestly predicted would become the most famous thing in this building. <laughs> Another item on display here is one of our nation's proudest symbols of patriotism. The icon's fame dates to the War of 1812. In that conflict, the British Navy bombarded Baltimore's Fort McHenry with rockets and mortar fire. And as the battle raged, a young American was detained on a ship in Baltimore Harbor, unable to join the fight. And the next morning, he was anxious to see whether his country had resisted the invasion. He discovered the answer when he saw the stars and stripes of the United States waving defiantly above Fort McHenry. That young American, of course, was Francis Scott Key. He referred to the moment he saw the flag as an hour of deliverance and joyful triumph. He recorded those emotions in a poem called The Star-Spangled Banner. Today, nearly two centuries after they were composed, his words are written on the heart of every American and written into our law as our country's national anthem. And the flag that inspired them is preserved here, thanks to the generosity of some fine citizens to remind us of the sacrifices that have been made to ensure our freedom.